Amount of data, remember. Let's start our session from scratch carefully. What is database? That's our actual subject, right, from tomorrow. What is database? A platform to store any type of data, any amount of data. Now you can ask me, Sai, like, why don't we store data in uh, PDF? Why don't we store data in Excel? Why to go for database? Yes, everyone. Are you getting my point, please? Are you getting my question? Everyone, please. Yep, I'll wait. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. friends. Any answer yeah. for it? Let me know, please. Any answer for it? Yes. In the meantime, I'll quickly get my file uh, from this computer to my other computer. Yes, friends. So what these file? are uh, relational database. database. These are relational database which the data is stored into columns and rows. Okay. Okay. Got it, sir. Got it. Yep. Relation. You mean like link between one table to another table? Link. Yep. Yes. My participant says, like, for example, I go to a restaurant, okay? I go to a restaurant. I order some food items. Then the orders table depends on the menu, isn't it? Order depends on menu, relation, or flight and reservations, like flight table, reservation table. Reservation depends on flight. So that kind of content, we call it relation, correct? Yes. Uh, anything else? Like, say, I am very, very new, okay? I am a layman. I am very, very new. So how to make me understand what is database? Come on, friends, please. I'll wait. In the meantime, I'll quickly get this PDF to my other computer. Yes, please. Why to go for database? My question, friends. Come on, please. I'll wait. Why to go for database? To store the data. Exactly. But you can store it in Excel data. also, right? Isn't it? Yes. To organize the data. Exactly. Yes, we can organize the data, but we can organize data in uh, Excel also, right? Nicely, or uh, rows, columns, we can add colors to it. Yes, we can do. Main uh, uh, advantage. For yeah, security on, purpose. For secure manner. Exactly. Security. security. Correct. Yes, security. When it comes to. Amount of data that can be stored. Exactly. Yes. Security. And. Any amount of data, the answer is already there on the notes. Please check it once on the screen. Answer already on the screen. Any type of data. See, in Excel, we cannot store huge volumes of data, right? Isn't it? Yes, you get my point? Yes, sir. We cannot yes. store huge volumes of data in Excel. Not possible at all. No. And same way, any, any type of data. In Excel, we cannot store uh, passwords, QR codes. OTPs, scan code, barcode activities, we cannot store in Excel, right? So any kind of sensitive data, complex data, big data, we need database. And there are minor, minor backgrounds on, please, please check your mic, please, please check your mic, please. There are two types of databases, basic types of databases. One is OLTP database. To store live real-time data, please see my screen carefully. OLTP means online transaction processing database. What is that? Online transaction processing database. Mainly developers will be involved, responsible for storing and designing, managing these databases. Purpose of OLTP to store live real-time data. Like, for example, a stock market operation or a live cricket match, live online banking, anything live, we have OLTP. Developers will take care. Other one, data warehouse database to store old historical data, inactive data. Like, for example, temperature, old temperature. Now, you may ask me, like, why we need to have old temperature data? Why we need to have old data? Yes. It's important, you know, uh, for weather forecast, right? We need to forecast the weather, uh, or stock perfect. market analysis, or any kind of speculations, predictions need old data history. There comes data engineers. And DBA, database administrator, is everywhere. 
wherever there is database we need database administration manager as well so dbas are the database doctors remember the health of the database routine health checks maintenance repairs troubleshooting and upgrades as well as migrations dbs need to take care security optimizations cloud activities dbs need to take care we'll talk more about these job roles for developers engineers analysts and admins in another 10 15 minutes from now so what we are learning so far what is database a platform to store any type of data any amount of data no restrictions at all completely secure two types of databases oltp data warehouse two types oltp is for live online transaction data anything live like for example a live cricket match or live interaction with a temperature sensor or live feeds like social feeds whereas warehouse is history you log into your linkedin profile you see last 365 days uh, visits from various employers and friends and colleagues etc with this small introduction let's understand the next item i need to see my other computer other computer please don't mind yes here it is our next item on my screen now dbms database management system it's a software to store secure manage databases very simple friends see uh, when working with excel we need ms office software same way to work with databases we need a software right that software name is dbms yes are we getting it please everyone please are we getting it i'll wait yes yes others yes, please, yes. others to work with excel yes. we need a software called ms office yes to work with databases from tomorrow we need to have something called dbms so this dbms software i will be providing you on email today we are going to install this software tomorrow together and what are the prerequisites for it we'll see we'll see one by one so remember we are going to have the installation part tomorrow what we are going to install dbms software lifelong free editions are available from microsoft fully functional lifelong free different companies have different brands of dbms in the market like for example microsoft has sql server brand ibm has db2 brand on my screen or mysql we have something called mysql or oracle sybase ingress so on so different companies have different brands of dbms we are going for microsoft sql server it is comparatively cheaper easier to manage comparatively cheaper easier to manage so first slide today i'll just go back quickly first slide database definition types of database then second one dbms database management system it is a software to work with databases it's a software to work with databases from here comes our next item very very important one our next item what is sql server basically i said it's a software right cheaper on my screen cheaper easy to use pre technical support pre updates and supports any cloud platform cloud means here remote storage part of our classes and in real world this sql server is very very famous trust me is very famous very very useful for healthcare insurance domains logistic e commerce banking etc then what about other database systems like powerful db2 and oracle government projects big enterprises they go for ibm db2 and oracle they are very very costly smaller enterprises 
prefer to use a cheaper product like Microsoft SQL Server. How much cheap it is? What is the cost of SQL Server? We are going to learn in next few minutes today. So first slide. What is database? Right. What is the second slide, please? Second slide. Mike with everyone, please. We are back to school. What is DBMS? What is DBMS? DBMS. What is SQL Server? Okay. We'll do it slowly, step by step. Next. And attendees who are responding more, they get more and more. Pretty sure about it. Please help me. Let's love the subject together. Yes. Next. Let's continue. Then comes very, very important. See, uh, we need to learn the subject from job perspective. Remember, there will be developers, there will be DBAs, there will be data engineers, there will be data analysts. For any project, we have four important job roles. Remember, number one, developer. Number two, admin dba number three data engineer number four data analyst these four teams together forms one project to manage all these four we have devops so sir, please come we'll again we'll see sir we'll see sir. I, I'll, I have everything documented anyway I'll, I'll come i'm come across those things if the diagrams as well we'll see for now let me put this developer sir okay developer dba data engineer analyst four things now i repeat again just to make it clear for us see here on my screen i said developers right on my screen developers are for first slide developers for oltp data engineers are for data warehouse activities administrators are for development is the i mean the development is at the start of your project and towards the go live activities dba is required again start of the project we need data engineers once the database goes live we need dbas again so database administrators are always required for every project the database can be from oltp site or from warehouse site dbas are required same way reporting is also required we have something called data analyst we'll come across these terms in another five ten minutes from now let me just go forward now here it is any end-to-end -end implementation simply say any software project that involves data that involves data need the left side is there on the screen right oltp the birthplace of data it is the birthplace. Data is born and brought up in OLTP. Remember, assume a bank environment. We have OLTP, like for example, OLTP, like savings account, current account, loan account, my Aadhaar, your SSN, etc. All these items will be consolidated, means grouped together into something called etl on my screen extract transform load reason for me taking this way whenever we see any uh, job description we need to understand the job requirement and expectations the interview expectations on job expectations what kind of client requirements will be available we need to think 360 degrees right so we need to understand the BI model to start with. In fact, to understand the installation tomorrow, we need this diagram. I repeat, tomorrow we are going to do the installation, basic level to start with. We need this terminology, remember. Number one, OLTP. Come on, what is OLTP, please? You remember everyone? Please, what is OLTP? Online. Online transaction, online transaction online processing database. Okay, any example, please? Any example? I'll wait. Any live example? temperature, stock market, live stock market, exactly. Live, live, market. Market. Exactly. live, live market market. and live temperature, live online banking, live uh, cricket match. Right, first slide today, first slide, online. and yes, 
then we have e3 like, that can you know bring the data it's like a valid parking service valid parking service etl from there it is going to send the data load the data into a, sto a store room or a godown godown called warehouse from warehouse comes data science and machine learning olap analytics so on let me show you a small uh, you know website link from where just wait okay i'll just put this way i'll just write this one just to make it easier for us okay technically any uh, project needs oltp etl data warehouse what's happening here please wait i'll just uh, click enter and show you taking some time right let's wait it's taking some time everything is fine i'll show you here because this is one of the project work we do yes on my screen friends so any end to end you know industrial project implementation requires one diagrammatic representation let me show you here it's still loading actually i think the site might have some connection problems not sure Usually, it should be almost immediate. Please, please, please mute your mics, please. No worries about all this code, okay? I'll show you. There will be one diagram actually here, wherein we have something uh, related to the previous screen actually. We have data ingestion, okay? Live data we call OLTP. From there comes something called ETL and data warehouse activities. I repeat again. I just show you the diagram. I'm just looking for the diagram actually. I think uh, it's not there. I'll surely show you the diagram by tomorrow. I'll do. Yes. Anyway, just to get some idea, okay? I repeat again. Any BI implementation, we need live data first. Real time data we call OLTP. Real time data is given to ETL, ETL to data warehouse. From data warehouse comes, this is part A BI, part two would be machine learning, data science, etc. That's the actual concept. And from here, let's continue. Just wait for a few moments, okay? Please wait. Please wait. Just wait. Please wait. I don't want to uh, miss anything. Please wait. Yes. From here comes our next item. From here comes our next item. What is it again? Let's not forget our journey. Slide one we learnt. Slide one we learnt. What is database? Okay. Slide two we learnt. SQL Server. What is DBMS? Or DBMS. DBMS. Slide three we learnt. What is SQL Server? SQL Server. Yes, exactly. Slide four is about BI, Business Intelligence. Remember. Next, from here, our next item, last and final slide, last and final slide, our actual course. Yes, here it is. Whatever SQL we are going to learn from tomorrow, whatever SQL we are going to learn from tomorrow, just wait for a few moments, my last and final slide here. On my screen. First two to two and a half weeks, we need to invest valuable time, our valuable time on architecture. We we'll understand from the scratch database concepts, MS SQL, TSQL, Transact SQL. TSQL is a variant of SQL, a type of SQL from Microsoft. What is that? SQL is a platform to connect to any database. To touch any database, we need SQL. Remember, what is it? To touch any database, we need SQL. Now, here, 
we need sql database administrators data scientist machine learning engineers analysts everyone we need sql now a type of sql exclusively manufactured by microsoft for their sql server databases we have ms sql ms sql is also called tsql we are going to have some queries important queries architecture there are five basic tuning concepts we are going to learn in the yellow box five basic tuning concepts i included three of them here indexes common table expressions and cursors basic procedures functions triggers so on and once it is done once we have this complete information then we are going to proceed for our actual course as per your resume plan you may go for a data engineer with power bi combo or dba with power bi combo or data engineer with power bi combo anything we have certifications if i were in your place i will not go for this one i have my own reason for it there is no certification from microsoft for sql developers as on date and whatever we need for our day to day job work certifications and resume we'll do it here and the curriculum is designed very carefully in such a way no compromise need your support hence i was asking first question today how many hours you can practice minimum 1 hour 45 minutes to 1 hour we are good to proceed and from here what we are going to learn let's understand carefully participants who are into the combo items sql database administration of course we'll start with installations and connections basic architecture part and basic level query tuning and all then comes core dba index architectures backups restores jobs database mail alert security roles so on and from there comes azure azure dba migrations clusters virtual machines repairs troubleshooting security hotfix updates etc the chapter wise curriculum on my screen for database administration non cloud ground floor azure sql dba first floor i mean core sql dba is mandatory to proceed for azure dba for database administration resumes and data engineering i said data engineer is for data warehouse databases right dw my go down warehouse for them we have a two months lengthy journey on top of sql is all about cloud computing data engineering is all about cloud computing big data spark python not programming it's etl python etl no programming here it's all about etl extract transform load etl i said few minutes back i'll quickly take you to that particular slide etl here comes python this is big data we keep hearing often very often we say big data big data right it's actually warehouse practically speaking warehouse is the big data not the remaining items on my screen and this particular big data can be implemented by microsoft technologies like synapse non microsoft call spark then where is python etl the valid parking service and then comes back to my original screen of data engineering here we have something called data factory pipelines optimizations 
loads of information here. Plan for two months for data engineering and ETL admin. Power BI, in case if someone wanted to go for Power BI developer or Power BI admin, then here is a common activities. A one month duration exclusively for reporting, analysis, and simply adding some beauty to your data, we have Power BI. So, what we are learning here, we are understanding slowly our actual job roles. To put everything together, instead of different, different slides, let's put everything together and here it is. I will provide you an Excel sheet today. That Excel sheet for everyone. That Excel sheet contains detailed curriculum, chapter wise content, what we are going to learn in each chapter, and planner for DBA. Same way, data engineering again, detailed content curriculum, and the day wise planner. And where we are now, we are having the basic activities to start with from tomorrow to make it easier on my screen. We'll start with yellow box tomorrow. It's all about architecture queries and basic tuning concepts. Five important basic tuning concepts. From there comes next level tuning in every box. Everywhere we have optimizations. So here are the uh, combos you can choose. As you know, our resume needs multiple technologies, right? But those should be meaningful technologies. There should be a link between one technology in our resume to the another. It works. You will be receiving this Excel sheet today. I request you to go through it carefully. And what we learned so far now, we learned what is database and types of databases we learned today. Then we learned what is DBMS and from there our actual job roles. So what is database, types of databases, our job roles and DBMS. SQL Server, a database management system from Microsoft. Easier, cheaper, rich user interface, multi cloud support. Versions of SQL Server 2022, 1917, so on. I shall be providing you today download links. Okay. Let's learn it for our resume step by step you'll be receiving three different google drive links today for pressure profiles okay install sql server 2022 or 2019 any one is enough not install actually download we are going to install the things together tomorrow anyway. For experience profiles, no compromise. Download SQL Server 2022 and 2019 or 2017. Both are required. Why? Simple logic. In our resume, we need to showcase some experience, expert level knowledge. The way we answer the questions in our interview should be away from Google. Really, away from Google. Yes or no? What do you say, friends? Yes or no? Agree with me or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Uh, Really friends, okay. See friends, one thing, let me tell you. Uh, first question, answer will clearly gives 90% clarity to the interviewer. Really. 
the way we start the answer is important there are a lot for example friends there are a lot of sql interview questions online only few of them are for microsoft sql few of them are for oracle few of them for my sql that classification is important our resume and our interview answer should match right there should be a match question remains same answer will be different it all depends that's why we have everyday assignments and i was telling earlier few questions are outside the notes right i was mentioning every day we have assignments from today itself from today we have interview questions from today every day from today itself and few questions are outside the notes but answers should be from the notes then we are good to proceed let me tell you uh, a small example friends basic example okay by day after tomorrow we'll start learning basics of sql tomorrow installation day after tomorrow we'll start basics of sql and whatever basic sql we learn from tomorrow only 50 percent queries will work in all database systems remaining 50 percent they don't work for example this statement will not work everywhere it works in microsoft sql only that's a fact one more thing there is something called item 14 some rules rules are not same in every technology for example something like this friends this won't work in other sql formats in microsoft sql it works oracle it won't work my sql it won't work but basic level activity there are differences we need them samsung mobiles iphone mobiles both are mobiles but though shape is same features are different internal software is different so repair shops are also different i'm talking about showrooms cost is different let's make it clear and straight we need to make sure we follow the guidance carefully and make sure we have windows 8 or higher os okay please make sure the windows 8 or higher os plus and 64 bit ram 64 bit processor and 6 gig ram is okay 8 gig ram better we have something called editions and other things we'll do it separately from tomorrow so these are the six points the takeaways from today's class tomorrow what we are going to do tomorrow's class we are going to understand something called versions of sql server editions of sql server and something called components of sql server installations and connections we'll do it carefully tomorrow's class with this we'll stop here and i request you to get your operating systems ready so that we can start our installations from tomorrow complete notes this excel file i shall take care i'll provide you on email curriculum also i'll be sending it on email the curriculum would be sent with day wise roster like what we are going to discuss on each day okay clear straight small pdf please take print copy of the pdf my kind request so whatever curriculum you'll be receiving today i'll just uh, take it this way just wait okay actually change my computer today i had some issues with the old one yep anyway here we go got it now i'll be providing you the uh, required pdf today that contains day wise roster okay I request you to take a print copy of it. It contains information like this, like what we are going to learn each day. Straight to the point. Every day we have assignments. 
by default one case study every two weeks you want one more you have to respond in the class you need to submit your assignments if not every day by weekend you will be submitting all your assignments please my kind request with this we we'll stop now and over to you let's go for questions clarifications if any we we'll stop for now questions please we'll go one by one okay please wait friends we'll go one by one for the questions if any we'll do one by one please please